There we go. All right. Hi, I'm Roy Goodman, and I'm going to be painting a picture for you today. So I have uh, decided I'm going to do a nice forest landscape for you. I've got a little sunset. All right, so first we're going to start off with some grass, because every forest needs grass. So here we go. We're going to use a sponge tool here and just, just lightly dip it in the green. You see how I'm doing that? Just lightly dip on both sides. All right, and we're going to start low. We're going to start low and move our way up, so you're just going to pack. That's all you're going to do is pack. See how I'm patting? I'm just going to pack. I'm going to pat a lot more. Okay, you're going to scrub it now. Just gonna do a good old scrub. Get get some grass going. Not too hard. Not too light either. Now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna drag it up, drag it up, just like that. See how that works. Beautiful. Alright, next. We're going to take the small brush here and uh, we're just going to get some black. A little dip of black, a little bit of white. And we're just going to Make that grass look a little more realistic, just shade it in a little bit. There we go, just like that. Don't be afraid to really get get in there. Make something special. Look at that. Alright, now we need a nice blue sky. So I recommend this brush here. This sky takes up a lot. It's a blue sky. Let's get it all over that brush. See how that works out? Guy there. And now for my favorite part, we're going to make some trees. Now, this is real easy to do. You just get the little knife tool here, put a tiny bit of black on the edge, scrape some brown. Now all you're going to do is scrape it down like that. Just scrape it down. See how easy this is? Anyone can do it. Just scrape it down. Put a happy little tree there. It's not going to harm anyone, just a happy little tree. Isn't that beautiful? We're going to take out our sponge again and we're just going to dab on some branches. Just dab them on. Dab them on. Don't be afraid. Branches aren't going to hurt you. The branches are friends. The branches are friendly. Nice. Just dab it on. Do a little twist. Do a little more dab. Twist and dab. That's my favorite technique. Isn't that a nice tree? I think that's a wonderful tree. And if you don't think that's a wonderful tree, then there's something wrong with you. Now we're going to have a cougar. Alright, here comes the cougar. He's mean. Alright, this is not a friendly cougar. tail. Stretch it out there. See this cougar really comes to life. Look at that. Cougars are really aggressive. They could kill you instantly. This cougar is up to no good. Put some legs on there. And a 
big cougar head. Okay, now that our cougar's there, I'm just gonna get some eyes going on, get them angry looking. Get some uh, big old teeth on them. And we're just gonna lightly outline the cougar. See how that really comes to life there. That's beautiful. Nice little cougar. All right, now we're gonna have a dying Mexican boy. See this? This Mexican boy is dying because the cougars ate him. We've got another arm reaching for help. But no one's gonna help him. Not today. The cougar's too strong. Notice how you have to use brown for the Mexican. You can't use any other color. It won't be realistic. It has to be as dirty looking as possible. There we go. We're just gonna get some green, do a little stink rays. Mix in the brown too, just some stink rays. There's pretty stinky people. There we go. Get a little X for the eye, because he's dead. There we go, that's a nice little Mexican boy. We got some blood. Mix that in there, blood on the teeth. Yeah. Now for the rest of the scene, really, we're just gonna create some bushes in the background. We'll take back out our sponge tool. There's a happy little bush there. There. Make sure you don't cover up the stink rays. It's a very important feature of the, the whole piece. It really lets you know what you're dealing with. Look at that. Doesn't this look nice? There we go. Now you're going to want to clean that off. That'll save your marriage. All right. Now for a final touch, what we're gonna wanna do is just lightly spray. We're just gonna lightly spray it. All right, so just stand back a bit, and this is all you need to do. Just get a little haze effect going down here. little up there and then and then you just put your name on it. Just sign it. Just like that, that fast, we have a beautiful looking painting right here. If I could just get my camera worker to zoom in on that. Beautiful. Alright, and that was painting with uh, Roy Goodman.